कॉर्पोरेशन प्रोडक्ट अंडर कॉर्पोरेशन प्रोडक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिड्यूस सो ही आर डिड्यूसिंग प्रॉपर्टी नंबर फोर say cartesian product under the cartesian product we are going to deduce the property number 4 so which is nothing but a intersection b cross c is equals to a cross c intersection b cross c so we are going to deduce this condition under the advanced level to deduce this condition we are going to assume three sets say a b and as well as c say we are going to illustrate by means of one condition that is under this illustration let set a equals to 1 comma 3 comma 5 and set b elements are of 5 comma 7 comma 9 and whereas set c elements are of 9 comma 11 then show that a intersection b cross c is equals to a cross c intersection b cross c in order to prove this condition so we are going to start the proof now so here as per problem the sets which are given to us are of the next logical step is of Set A equals to one comma three comma five, and set B equals to five comma seven comma nine, and set C equals to nine comma eleven. So now, to prove the condition which is given to us, so first of all, let us consider the case number one and. in case number 1 we are going to solve the first lhs that lhs is of a intersection b cross c then now under case number 1 lhs so lhs condition is of a intersection b cross c so first of all let us solve what is a intersection b which is in the bracket a intersection b is equals to so here set a elements are of 1 3 5 intersection with set b elements so here the elements of set b are of 5 comma 7 comma 9 then now we are going to find out the intersection of these two sets that is a and as well as b so here in order to find out the intersection of these two sets so we have to choose the common elements so here one is the element of the first set that is a but one is not occurring in the set b similarly three is the element of set a but it is not present in the set b so here five is common in both so five is present in both the sets that is a and as well as b therefore the common elements are of only one that is five so in this manner i got so here therefore a intersection b is equals to set consisting the element that is five then now overall we have to find out a intersection b cross c a intersection b cross c is equals to 
the elements of intersection B are of only one that is 5, then now cross set C elements are of 9 and 11, then now we have to find out the Cartesian product of A intersection B and as well as C, then the next logical step will be of, so that implies 5 comma 9 and 5 comma 11 will be the ordered pairs which are nothing but the elements of the set of A intersection B cross C. So, in this manner I got, so here therefore, A intersection B cross C equals to 5 comma 9 comma 5 comma 11. So, here in this manner let us suppose this has the equation number 1 which we got from the case number 1. Then now let us go for the RHS. So, here as per the question, so here right hand side quantity is of A cross C intersection B cross C. Then now, that is case number 2. In our case number 2, so here RHS quantity is of A cross C intersection B cross C. So, here first of all in order to find out the RHS quantity first of all let us find out the first bracket that is A cross C. So, here A cross C is equals to set A elements are of so, here as per the problem set A elements are of 1 comma 3 comma 5, then now cross then now set C elements are of 9 and 11. We have to find out the Cartesian product of A and as well as C, then the next logical step will be of. So, what implies? First of all, let us find out the ordered pair with 1. So, 1 comma 9 is the first ordered pair, then 1 comma 11 will be the second ordered pair. Similarly, 3 comma 9 and 3 comma 11 will be the next two ordered pairs, then now 5 comma 9 and 5 comma 11 will be the last two ordered pairs. So, here the elements of A cross C that is the Cartesian product of A and as well as C are of 1 comma 9, 1 comma 11, 3 comma 9, then 3 comma 11. 5 comma 9 and 5 comma 11. So, here these are the 6 ordered pairs. So, here because these number of elements in the first set are of 3 and the number of elements in the second set are of 2. So, 3 to 6 is of 6 therefore, we got the 6 ordered pairs as the elements of A cross C. So, in this manner, so here therefore, A cross C is equals to set consisting these ordered pairs. Then now, we have to find out B cross C now. B cross C equals to elements of set B are of 5 comma 7 comma 9 as per the problem then now cross then now C elements of C are of 9 comma 11. Then now the next logical step will be of phi comma 9 because we have to find out the Cartesian product of B and as well as C. So, phi comma 9 will be the first order pair then now phi comma 11 will be the second order pair. Similarly, 7 9 and 7 11 will be the next order pairs 9 and comma 9 and 9 comma 11 will be the last two order pairs. So, here therefore, set consisting phi comma 9, phi comma 11, 7 comma 9, 7 comma 11 and the last two order pairs are of 9 comma 9 and 9 comma 11. So, here in this manner we got 6 ordered pairs. So, because there are of 6 3 elements in the first set and 2 elements in the second set 3 to 6 of 6. So, in this manner we got 6 ordered pairs as the elements of B cross C. So, therefore, B cross C equals to set consisting these ordered pairs, but here we have on the whole we have to find out A cross C intersection B cross C. So, here A cross C intersection B cross C equals to. So, here A cross C as per the problem which we got A cross C elements are of 1 comma 9, 1 comma 11, 3 comma 9, 3 comma 11, 5 9 and as well as 5 11. Then now intersection with B cross C. So, here intersection with B cross C elements. So, here B cross C elements are of 5 9, 5 11, 
seven nine, seven eleven, nine nine, and as well as nine eleven. But here we have to find out the intersection that is common elements between the first set that is A cross C and as well as the second set B cross C. One comma nine is not occurring in the second set that is B cross C. Then one comma eleven is also not occurring in the second set. So three comma nine. Is also not occurring in the second set. Three comma eleven is also not occurring in the second set. Five comma nine is only the element. So here five comma nine is occurring in both the sets. Then now five comma eleven is also the another element which is common in both the sets. Then now. So yeah, therefore, A cross C intersection B cross C is equals to set consisting the common elements. The common elements are of one is five comma nine, the other is of five comma eleven. So let us consider this as the equation number two, which we got from the case number two. Then now let us observe. So your equation number one and as well as two. So your equation number two, the right hand side elements are of five comma nine and five comma eleven. Whereas in, as per the equation number one, so in equation number one, right hand side elements are of five comma nine and five comma eleven. So here from this it is clear that the right hand sides of the equation number one and as well as the two are of equal. Therefore the left hand sides must be equated. Then now the next logical step. from equations 1 and as well as 2 so here the equation number 1 is of a intersection b cross c elements are of Five comma nine and five comma eleven. So this is of equation number one. Then now the second equation is of A cross C intersection B cross C is equals to the elements of A cross C intersection B cross C are of five comma nine comma five comma eleven. So here let us consider this as the Equation number two. So here, from this, it is clear that right hand sides are equal. Therefore, the left hand sides must be equated. So here, since since the RHS, that is right hand sides of equations one and as well as two, are equal. Hence, left hand sides of Both the equations must be equated. So here, hence, or uh, therefore, so left hand side in the first equation is of A intersection B cross C must be equated to. So here, A cross C intersection B cross C. from this it is clear that the cartesian product distributes over intersection from right to left so here hence cartesian product distributes over the intersection from right hand side that is right to left that is left hand side 